the golden age of the Abbasid Caliphate beacon of knowledge. In the heart of Baghdad, a city that once blazed like a diamond in the desert, something extraordinary was happening. The year was 820 CE, and the House of Wisdom was humming with an energy that would change human history forever. Scholars from every corner of the known world gathered here, Persian mathematicians, Greek philosophers, Indian astronomers, and Arab translators. They didn't just study knowledge, they hunted it with a fierce passion. Every manuscript, every scroll was a treasure waiting to be decoded, preserved, transformed. al Moon, the caliph, understood something revolutionary, knowledge had no borders. He paid gold for every translated book, creating an intellectual marketplace where ideas flowed like rivers. Greek scientific texts, forgotten for centuries, were resurrected. Complex mathematical theories from India danced alongside astronomical innovations from Persia. Imagine massive libraries filled with thousands of manuscripts, candlelight flickering on pages of breakthrough discoveries. Algebra was born here. Advanced surgical techniques emerged. The concept of zero revolutionized mathematics. Astronomical instruments that would guide navigation for centuries were designed in these halls. Al Khwarizmi, a brilliant mathematician, developed algorithms that would eventually form the foundation of computer science. Ibn Sina, the physician, wrote medical texts used in European universities for centuries. Their work wasn't just scholarship, it was a global conversation. This wasn't just an academic exercise. This was a civilization understanding that true power wasn't about conquering territories, but expanding human potential. For nearly two centuries, Baghdad was the global center of innovation, a lighthouse of human curiosity burning bright against the darkness of ignorance. When the lights finally dimmed, the world had been forever changed.